Minecraft review, best note taking app, better than Evernote and Notion. Hi there you guys, I have here Craft and I think it's challenging our note taking apps that we already are familiar to. This is, uh, it's not relevantly new by the way, it's just making its round lately because it has been doing a lot of effort to like catch up to its competitors. But yeah, admittedly, note taking apps on Apple platforms have never been in a better place. And Apple Notes is a fantastic built-in option with dip systems, integrations, and Bear. This one is another note-taking platform. It offers an elegant markdown experience and powerful note-linking features. There are a lot more options out there like Agenda, Evernote, Noto, Notion. It was also compared with this. But for all the excellent options already out there, it can never hurt to have another, right? Especially when that new option is well done as this application right over here. Now, what does Craft has to offer? Um, b before that, I I'd like to say this. It's also like, um, yeah, uh, approved that they've been, I mean, for Craft to launch across on, on all platforms like iPhone, iPad, and Mac as a new note taker. Basically, it, it blends the block-based approach of Notion, which, I mean, with a thoroughly native experience, so taking advantage of all the OS technologies you would hope for and throwing in valuable features like real-time collaboration. It's basically the most exciting note-taking debut I've seen in years when this came out. Now, we are going to try and talk about three aspects of uh, this software. We're going to talk about the document structure page styles and of course lastly we have the editor like uh, under that we have the block types keyboard control and more and uh, yeah so now let's talk about the document structure so if your brain works at all like mine the way an app organizes its note database is important to determining whether that app is right for you so you should look at that first when evaluating the right um note taking app for you like for example tag based apps never have never been like a great fit for a lot of people including me but i love a good folder based system now craft takes a unique approach that's ultimately folder based but offers much more than what you'd find in app like apple notes so if you look at uh, um, Craft's interface right over here this is what your dashboard will look like by the way when you start logging in you can see that it works via folders. It has folders over here where you can add in a new folder. And these folders will contain your notes. So for example, let's put in here. Your notes go here and create the folder. All right, now you've got a folder. And if you want to add in like a new note, just hit in this button right here. It's basically going to let you choose between a document, a quick note, a new folder. You can add a lot of things. But yeah, basically we're talking about notes. So you can add in like a quick note by doing that. And the most important part of this uh, note taking app is of course the date. It immediately is shown right up in here without you doing anything. So what you only have to do now is to just type in whatever uh, is important for this day. And you can change the date of this day just by clicking this button so you don't have to do the typing. Um, I find it really like time consuming for you know applications that lets you type the date itself. Um, I like the fact that you can just already browse or hover around this button that's already here. That's a big plus. And uh, yeah, uh, let's talk about the basics of this app uh, of, of Craft. Uh, a basic note in Craft is called a page, by the way, and it's similar to Notion. But pages are organized into folders, and inside the folders, you can choose to view pages either in a symmetrical grid or one where the layout is more dynamic, with pages having different sized previews. So there's currently no option for a traditional list layout for viewing your pages. So once we go to this, or oh, once I add in more folders, so let me just go ahead and try to hi there i'm new and then hit on create all right we're now here hi there i'm new and let me just add in okay 
So you can just see here that it'll look like this once we put in more documents or more notes. So it will really depend on the like we can just star it to make it to make the card hopefully bigger. But yeah. Just duplicate it if you want. So basically they show up just like a symmetrical grid or one where the layout is more dynamic. But simple so far, um inside pages is where things get a little more complicated and even inception like pages use a block based system for content again similar to notion so you can add blocks for a wide variety of content types but among those options are ways to use pages as portals into sub pages and this can happen in one of the three ways so you can simply add a new page inside a page All right so we're currently here this is like uh, the page already. Uh, okay. Add in new and quick note again. All right. So let me just go ahead and type it here. New note here. Just going to enter this. All right. And well, what can I still do? You can add in like a code or like a text as well. But you can just toggle the sidebar visibility as well here if you want to show the sidebar or not okay so the node is still empty new node here it still you can see this it was it's saved already right there and you can toggle this on you can click this on for the sidebar visibility so what you can see here as the t are the title, sub hit, subtitle, and heading. You can edit the style of the text, so you can make it like a title or um, some note, like a subtitle, like a heading. So basically, this is where you edit like the style of your note. Next is where I'm gonna be talking about the. Um, editor we have the block types keyboard control and more so basically the editor it has a lot more to offer when you start to actually explore it but basically with your pages style set to your liking I uh, um, you can now craft your notes you can of course tap or click anywhere on screen if you're using a phone to just start typing text and even inline markdown is supported so if you prefer that over rich text but you can also use one of the many other block types at your disposal so we already started covering this La title the subtitle and what else you can also edit um, list media snippets date and time block and focus blocks additional text styling options and also plus the page and card options and different block types can be selected uh, by hitting the icon featuring a plus button near the bottom of the screen or by using a slash command the slash command is pretty useful as well you guys so if you want to um, make uh, things a little bit more okay click me to insert it's not really working there you go just use the slash command but yeah, basically that's how crafts work. I'm not sure if it's better than all of the note-taking app that we already have out there. But I'm not sure. Yeah, it, it's more of like a collaboration application more than a note-taking app. So what do you think about this video? Let me know down in the comments below. But that's it for this video. See you again on the next one. Peace out.